We've seen that L'Hopital's rule can be used to evaluate limits of the form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. In this video, we'll continue to use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate additional indeterminate forms, like 0 times infinity, infinity to the 0, 0 to the 0, and 1 to the infinity. In this example, we want to evaluate the limit of a product. Notice that as x goes to 0 from the positive side, sine x goes to 0, and ln x goes to negative infinity. Remember the graph of y equals ln x. So this is actually a 0 times infinity indeterminate form. Even though the second factor is going to negative infinity, we call, still call it a 0 times infinity indeterminate form. You can think of the infinity here as standing for either positive or negative infinity. It's indeterminate because as x goes to 0, the sine x factor is pulling the product towards 0, while the ln x factor is pulling the product towards large negative numbers. And it's hard to predict what the limit of the product will actually be. But the great thing is, I can actually rewrite this product to look like an infinity over infinity indeterminate form, or a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. Instead of sine x times ln x, I can rewrite the limit as ln x divided by 1 over sine x. Now as x goes to 0, my numerator is going to negative infinity, and since sine x is going to 0 through positive numbers, my denominator, 1 over sine x, is going to positive infinity. So I have an infinity over infinity indeterminate form. Now I could instead choose to leave the sine x in the numerator and instead put a 1 over ln x in the denominator. If I do this, then as x goes to 0 through positive numbers, sine x goes to 0, and since ln x goes to negative infinity, 1 over ln x goes to 0. And so I have a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. Sometimes it can be difficult to decide which of these two ways to rewrite a product as a quotient. One rule of thumb is to take the version that makes it easier to take the derivative of the numerator and denominator. Another trick is just to try one of the ways, and if you get stuck, go back and try the other. I'm going to use the first method of rewriting it because I recognize that 1 over sine x can be written as cosecant of x, and I know how to take the derivative of cosecant x. Using L'Hopital's rule on this infinity over infinity indeterminate form, I can rewrite my limit as the limit of what I get when I take the derivative of the numerator, that's 1 over x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, that's negative cosecant x cotangent x. As always, I want to simplify my expression before going any further. I can rewrite my trig functions in the denominator in terms of sine and cosine. Cosecant x is 1 over sine x, and cotangent x is cosine of x over sine of x. Now, flipping and multiplying, I get the limit as x goes to 0 plus of 1 over x times sine squared of x over negative cosine of x. In other words, the limit of negative sine squared x over x cosine x. We know that cosine of x goes to 1 as x goes to 0, so I can rewrite this as the limit of negative sine squared x over x times the limit of something that goes to 1. So I once again have a 0 over 0 indeterminate form, and I can apply L'Hopital's rule yet again. Taking the derivative of the top, I get negative 2 sine x cosine of x, and the derivative of the bottom is just 1. Now I'm in a good position just to evaluate the limit by plugging in 0 for x. In the numerator, I get negative 2 times 0 times 1. The denominator is just 1, so my final limit is 0. In this limit, we have a battle of forces. As x is going to infinity, 
1 over x is going to 0. So 1 plus 1 over x is going to 1. But the exponent, x, is going to infinity. It's hard to tell what's going to happen here. If we had 1 to any finite number, that would be 1. But anything slightly bigger than 1, as we raise it to bigger and bigger powers, we would expect to get infinity. So our limit has an indeterminate form. It's hard to tell whether the answer is going to be 1, infinity, or maybe something in between. Whenever I see an expression with a variable in the base and a variable in the exponent, I'm tempted to use logarithms. If we set y equal to 1 plus 1 over x to the x, then if I take the natural log of both sides, I can use my log rules to rewrite that by multiplying by x in the front. Now if I wanted to take the limit as x goes to infinity of ln y, that would be the limit of this product, x times ln 1 plus 1 over x. As x goes to infinity, the first factor, x, goes to infinity. 1 plus 1 over x goes to just 1, and ln 1 is going to 0. So we have uh, infinity times 0 in determinant form, which we can try to rewrite as uh, an infinity over infinity or a 0 over 0 in determinant form. Let's rewrite this as the limit of ln 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over x. This is indeed a 0 over 0 mm -hmm. in determinant form, so we can use L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of the top and the bottom. The derivative of the top is 1 over 1 plus 1 over x times the derivative of the inside, which would be negative 1 over x squared. And the derivative on the bottom, the derivative of 1 over x, is negative 1 over x squared. We can actually cancel out these two factors and rewrite our limit as the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over 1 plus 1 over x, which is just equal to 1, since 1 over x is going to 0. So we found that the limit of ln y is equal to 1, but we're really interested in finding the limit of y, which we can think of as e to the ln y. Since ln y is going to 1, e to the ln y must be going to e to the 1. In other words, e. So we found that our original limit is equal to e. And in fact, you may recognize that this limit is one of the ways of defining e. In the previous example, we had a 1 to the infinity indeterminate form. And we took logs and used log rules to write that as an infinity times 0 indeterminate form. Well, the same thing can be done if we have an infinity to the 0 indeterminate form or a 0 to the 0 indeterminate form. So 1 to the infinity infinity to the 0 and 0 to the 0 are all indeterminate forms that can be handled using L'Hopital's rule. In this video, we saw that a 0 times infinity indeterminate form could be converted to a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity indeterminate form by rewriting f of x times g of x as f of x divided by 1 over g of x or as g of x divided by 1 over f of x. We also saw how to use L'Hopital's rule on these three sorts of indeterminate forms by taking the ln of y, where y is our f of x to the g of x that we want to take the limit of.